Hello, everyone. My name is Yolanda, aka Yols. Welcome to Reworked, where creativity never sleeps. My creative journey began the first moment that I could work. I remember that I never had any dolls, but I had to work with what I had at hand. Even today, it still inspires me. Even the name of my first shop in Nijmegen in the Netherlands is called Fluffy Owl. Also, the first painting I ever commissioned a friend of mine to make for me, his name is Richard Boxford, is of an orange fluffy owl. In today's video, I show you how I take an old painting that I bought from a flea market here in the Netherlands together with some magazine cutouts and also a recycled paint residue from a project that I'm currently working on. So, let's dive in. When I started working with my repaint project, I wanted to work with it in a bucket so that I could catch the residue of the paint that I mixed together in the method that I used in there. And I took a sponge so that I can dab the paint onto the painting to cover up the painting itself. As you can see, from the residue, I mixed also a little bit of water just to give the colors more depth. And also so that I can have different colors coming from it. I just really covered it. There was really no process as to how I wanted the colors to turn out. And also I had some paint in the cup where I mixed all the paints. And then as you can see that I tried to put everything in there. Next was to find the perfect picture. I wanted something that is silhouette or black and white but I like this beautiful brown skin girl with vitiligo maybe it's something I can use now or for another project but then I also love this one because it's a black and white photo this is something that I can use for another project um, yeah Basically, just really go through and find something and also taking note of color that I come across for inspiration Because I'm not sure at this moment what colors I'm going to use for this collage But I know that I want to also include monochrome prints or colors I love this because the background is similar to the painting that I just created and I also love this blues and monochrome and red. After searching through the magazines, I found uh, the perfect picture that I was going to use and also pictures that I can use in another pro. This one. And next I painted the bottom of the painting with white so that I can prepare it for my black and white inspired prints. Xhosa is a tribe in South Africa and my language is also Xhosa so I wanted to incorporate like something uh, from my tribe. This is the end result and I couldn't be more happier with it and as you can see I've now included like the blues and the reds and the black and whites and also like some gold accents. You know, I just wanted to just play around with it. So if you get inspiration and you create something similar, please tag me or share your link or send me photos of this. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe, like, 
comment and share and looking forward to our next video.